Hi there, Clementev and all the rest of you good people out there. Uh, I hope that you're all safe and sound and that health is with you. Uh, regarding your question on uh, selecting uh, the right or correct entity uh, kind of from start, uh, especially in a situation like this where you have two bodies on top of each other, or not really on top, but edges that are on top of each other, I should say. So if I hide one of these bodies, uh, the other one will remain. And uh, so we see that they are two separate bodies, meaning that they kind of share the edges around here, uh, or at least those edges are on top of each other. Now, um, you say that you want to use a function called delete edge, and you want to delete the uh, edges of the blue body to remove that hole. Now, we do not know the downstream uh, purpose for this. Uh, there are several ways of doing this. Uh, we will go through some of them. So, the delete edge we have here, and, and I think the most common that people would use is the uh, blank option. So, I blank the yellow body there, and uh, then I select the edge. And I bring back what I blanked, and I think that's probably the way that most people will go about this. Now, you could do it differently, and that's the, my suggestion uh, originally. That would be to use the color filter, as we have bodies with two different colors here. So um, let's evoke that delete edge again. And we set the color filter, and we inherit the blue body color there and we delete that edge and we are where we want to be now uh, in addition I should say and just because you can depending on uh, if you need to make a robust selection for updates and so on maybe not for this specific case there is also a selection program that you could use for instance I will just kind of use this as an example so the selection program is on the selection toolbar up here, and uh, if we evoke the selection program there, it will take me to a kind of a logical selection uh, program, uh, and, and where you kind of program what the system should select. So we say that it's going to select from this body, it's going to select uh, entities that are closest to that point we say okay to that and the system will run off and, and uh, build this program into the part if you like the selection and you can see that okay so it kind of didn't select everything here and that is because the selection is set to single we will set it to tangent there and again we have reached our destination where we want to go now uh, with that said, depending on your downstream uh, application or, or use, there are other options to do this as well. And you can use, for instance, patch openings, uh, which will, well, it will patch up that hole for you. Uh, you have several options. One is the removing edges, which means they will use the underlying map of that surface. Uh, and here is like we determine this specific surface. So the edges we're going to select now is from that surface. So if I select those edges down here, it's going to create my uh, create me a surface. And if we go down to settings here, we can see if I want this as a single feature, uh, multiple, or if I will like to sew it into the component or into that surface. I have done that there. Uh, now, with that said, uh, you also have the uh, surface boundaries there. Now, if you do not want those surface boundaries, you could uh, just delete the face and use heal, and uh, that will take it to exactly the same result. But the whole point here was to, in one uh, uh, stop shop and one feature, uh, kind of remove that hole and the patch opening and so is, is is a good option for you here but it all depends on the downstream application uh, in addition i should say you also have uh, things like you know you can extract a copy of this and you can extract it without holes and that will do the same thing uh, that means it will not replace the body but it will be there oops that's actually i did that without associativity so if i do that again uh, it's now going to be an ex associative extract from the original there. And we can see that there 
there's no hole on that. And we can bring back the kind of original slot body there. Uh, without the hole, maybe that doesn't really have any purpose and should go as well. But uh, there are yet further options if you need. Uh, but it all depends on the downstream application here. Now, uh, what most people will probably use is the blank unblank, unblank um, or hide on hide, depending on how you would like to describe it. Um, uh, situation there. Uh, personal, I would probably use the filter and color, as this these two bodies have uh, 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 different colors, and and that's the way I would go about it. Now. I hope that you all got something out of this. Uh, selection is kind of an important thing here, and uh, uh, there are uh, quite a bit of options depending on what you want to achieve. And, and also there's plenty of options depending on the downstream uh, kind of uh, inputs uh, for the next application. Uh, and with that, uh, I think I will wrap it up and I will call it a day. Uh, it's night where I am, so I will wish you a good night. Uh, good morning, uh, noon, day, <laughs> whatever it is in your location. Uh, be safe out there, be good people, and uh, I hope to talk to you soon. Over and out from Fred. Bye for now.